Hi there people, uh, welcome to my channel. I am Gemma B Mix and this is a podcast about knitting, crochet, sewing and some lots of crafty goodness today. Um, I have been knitting and making and sewing and spinning and crocheting lots and lots over the past two weeks. So I'm going to get right down to it and we'll uh, dive straight in with my knitting. Um, I haven't got any FOs this week, no finished objects, um, but I have been making lots and lots of progress on all the different types of things. However, I've um, done myself a little injury and managed to get like repetitive strain in my wrist. Um, yeah. So I haven't done as much knitting as I have everything else, um, but I'll show you what I've been doing. So um, I'm still working on the boyfriend cardigan. Sorry, I've got notes this time. <laughs> so I'm still working on the boyfriend cardigan. Um, I have started on the sleeves. Um, it's, got, it's going well. So I finished the back, I finished both sides of the fronts and I started on the sleeves and I've um, changed the pattern a little bit and I've put a little thumb hole in. Um, so I, I tried to many YouTube videos later working out how to do that but I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I am gonna get this finished um, in fact because because my um, wrist is hurting a little bit and I haven't done as much on it um, that is the only knitting I think I'm gonna be working on um, over the next two weeks because I really do need to get that finished for Beth. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the yarn. It's it's an acrylic and it's paint box. Um, and she chose six different colours, all in rainbows. Um, I'll show you the back actually. So this is the back, all done up. Is this the back? Nope, that's the front, that's the side. This is the back. <laughs> um, so, oh, it needs an iron. Just gonna give it a little steam block, I think. I'm not sure about acrylic. Do you block it out? Um, I'll have to YouTube and have to ask. But I think it looks really cool once it's all put together. And um, I'll have to do a little bit of research on um, how to actually stitch them together. Um, do you knit them together? Do you stitch it? Do you? What colour am I going to use? Because it's all in rainbow. Um, Lots of questions, um, but hopefully uh, I should finish that by next week. Poor Beth, she's been waiting about seven months for it. Um, so I've been knitting this on um, my Knit Pro. So I've got some Knit Pro interchangeables um, with the metal needles, and I found that the acrylic just kept slipping off. Um, so I went to the local my local yarn store, which is Bar Ramu, um, and bought these. Um, Symphony it's called it's a wooden needle but I think it's pretty cool isn't it like all the uh, different colours and it's so much better um I, I, I really like it a lot more there's lots less like they're not slipping off as much but yet still able to um to, to knit nicely um so I also wanted to buy a four millimeter one uh, so sorry this is a five millimeter I also wanted a four millimeter, um, but they didn't stock them because they stated that um, they found they split and they snapped and they broke quite easily. Um, however, I so I I bought I bought a set online, um, but now I know that actually they're quite likely to split or break, so I just just have to be careful with them. Um, but I really really like them. Um, yeah, so that's the Knit, the Knit Pro Symphony. So this week I cast on the three colour Cashmere Shawl by um, Hohi Locatelli. Um, they're proper bold colours those, aren't they? Um, so I cast on. I haven't made lots and lots of progress because like I said, I'm hurting. Uh, but I've nearly finished the first band. So let's have a little look. So also on the so four millimeter um, symphonies, um, let's have a little look here, pull this all out. So at the minute, I think the shawl is set out in like three different bands. Let's have a little look. So, so you've got a band up here with a little lace in it and a stripy one and then a textured one and then this little lace band at the bottom and then a pico bind off. 
Um, so I've just finished, no I haven't finished, nearly, the the lace at the back. So, this is it so far, it's a bit crinkly isn't it? Um, I'm knitting this in uh, coop knits, um, socks yeah, and yes, yeah, so it's knitted on a socks yeah, um, coop knits. Let's have a little look. I've got three colours here. Um, I've got Beryl, <laughs> uh, Dan Bright, and Low Light. Um, I'm not sure which one's which. I'm sorry, uh, but I've got yeah. So, Right. How bad is that? They were ni nice pretty cakes. Um, all gone. <laughs> so, that's what you get when you shove things in bags. I don't think I'll be making much progress um, on that shawl over the next couple of weeks though, simply because of my ridiculous wrist. <sighs> um, I wonder if there's a way that I can knit without getting that pain. Um, but. I'll, uh, whatever I am knitting, I'd, I need to get this cardigan finished for Beth. It's, um, yeah, six months is a long time. It might even be longer than that. Um, I've also made a little bit of progress on the socks that I was doing. Uh, not very much though. I changed the needle. So, uh, let's have a little look. So these socks, uh, knit on um, the Yarn Lab UK's Fanciful colourway. I already have one sock done and this is the second sock. So I had the tiniest little bit of progress. I think I'd done the cuff and I've done this much. Um, I thought I'd give the nine inch circulars a go. Um, I tried try using them um, when I first started sock knitting so I've only made two pairs of socks this is the third pair um, and I really didn't like them I couldn't cast on properly and I couldn't get without you know without the ladder coming down the side um, but I've since been watching uh, the yarn hoarder oh Amber how much yarn have you got <laughs> Side note, uh, David came in and watched me um, and saw that I was watching the yarn harder. So Amber on uh, on YouTube looked at her backdrop and all her yarn at the back, literally looked at me and just went, don't you dare. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I'll stop buying. Click, click, click. Um, but yeah, so I she, she casts on it using Magic Loop and then changes to um, her... Nine inch circulars, um, and I do, and, and I do like them. However, again, it's still a ribbed pattern um, with a little. It's a free. It's a free pattern. You can find it on Ravelry, but it's got like these little. Uh, it looks like it's cabled, but you don't use a cable needle. And trying to use the nine inch circulars to do that um, is a little bit difficult. Um, so what I've done is I've ordered a 2.5 because I'm knitting on a 2mm which I think is a size 0 um, and it's taking such a long time. So I'm going to swap back to Magic Loop. I know it's probably, I think it's changed my gauge a little bit. I think these will knit a little bit looser um, but I'm really not bothered um, just for that little bit. Um, I'm going to swip, swap back to Magic Loop for the rest of the sock um, and I've ordered some uh, more 2.5 millimeter um so i've ordered a 2.5 millimeter magic loop needle i think it was an addy that i ordered um and also a nine inch circular so i'm gonna give that a go i think i think i'll like it because it's i know that people complain don't they that they've got little hands but i think I think I could manage that. Well, I'm going to give it a go anyway. We'll see. I'm saying, oh yeah, I like I like the nine inch circulars, but I don't quite know yet. I love this yarn. Every now and again, there's like a perfect little pop. Look, that little hot pink stitch there. Uh, I just think it's so lovely. And a little, a really, really, really dark purple one here. A little more of the colours around the back. And this little orange that pops through. Just, yeah. I think they're going to be really nice when they're finished. So yeah, not a lot of progress, but um, new techniques uh, learnt. 
and I want to cast on um, a new sock. So I've, I think the Yarn Lab um, have just started doing a self-striping yarn um, and it went on sale last night and I got some. Um, I was really, really happy that I managed to get the colourway that I wanted as well. Um, I think it's called Beach Sliders. Um, so when that comes and my 9 inch circular on the 2.5, gosh, I keep shaking the camera, sorry. Like, um, So when my uh, the Beach Sliders arrives, so self striping yarn and 9 inch circulars and a nice vanilla sock, um, so I'm going to give that a go. I think that'll be really, really good. I've also caked up, um, I have some hedgehog fibres. Let's have a little look. I'll, in fact, I'll show you my little, um, this little pinball cake, my little three-tier cake. So this was the Rhapsody yarn, um, the Sunset Paradise, uh, that I bought from the Leeds Wool Festival with the little, uh, mini from the, um, yeah, the little rainbow mini that I got there as well. Um, I can't remember who did that now. All, all wool that ends wool. Yeah, all, all wool that ends wool. Um, look at that bad little cake. And this is Hedgehog Fibres in the Where's My Bike colourway. Um, and I absolutely love this. This was a present um, given to me by my sister um, when she went to Amsterdam. And I told her, because she went, I think she went in August last year. Um, my birthday is in September. I was like, just so you know, Stephen and Penelope's little knitting shop. Um, if you want to buy me something from there, and that's what I got. I got the Where's, Where's My Bike um, by Hedgehog Fibres. Um, and it's really beautiful. So again, I, because I put an order in um, at the Yarn Lab, um, I've got her to send me some uh, neon minis so I can put... I love the neon through here. So I think I might choose the hot pink. It depends how well they match when they come. But the yellow and the blue as well, the blue's ace. Look at that. Um, so that is destined to be socks. I'm just waiting for my arrival, really. I don't know what socks I'm going to make with that. I'd quite like to put a little pattern in it. But again, if I'm using my nine inch circulars, it's I just want to get used to it. Um, I have all, like I say, they're all caked up. They're ready to go because I lent the ball winder from one of the girls at Knit Night, um, my friend Alison um, and Gillian actually, they're, they're sisters, so Alison and Gillian lent me their ball winder, um, which was their mother's, I think it was their mum, so it was a really old brother, um, and she was telling me about it, saying it was her mum's and she used to spend hours, you know, with the little skin, holding the skin while, she, while her mum used to do it, and I just thought, how old is this thing? It sounded like a family heirloom and you're going to lend me the family heirloom to wind all my cakes up. Um, but no, I didn't break it, thank God, because I uh, I am really clumsy and tend to break things. <laughs> so, um, But I looked. At, I managed to look after it. I got all my um, skeins wound up, so I've got lots of different um, little piles of cake, cakes around the house now. Um, just just waiting for to be cast on um so this so i'm going to pull it back up again um but the rhapsody is um a lace weight um, and i really want to make um a lace weight shawl out of it however the um skimming stones uh, mystery cal starts on wednesday and i'm so excited for it it's really sad isn't it how excited you could actually get about crochet um, but I really am. I've never done a mystery knit along before. I've never done a knit along, um, and I just like the mystery ele element of it. You get um, you get part of the pattern each week. Um, so yeah, so that starts on Wednesday, uh, the twentieth of June, and I, I don't want to have too many projects. <laughs> Normally, I've never had so many projects on at one time before. I'll always um, either be knitting something and crocheting something, and that's it, just two things. Um, but obviously, I've started sewing, so I've been sewing on the side, and I've got all these different things cast on. Um, and I'm, real, I'm really enjoying it. I really like the fact that you have different knitting for different situations. Like, I can grab the sock on the go. Um, uh, the crochet is one that I normally take on the go because you can just put it down at any point. Um, 
So I've, I've really been enjoying having lots of projects, however, I don't want too many projects. Um, so I've tried to say to myself, if I have um, something crocheted, um, something, so, so I've tried to say to myself, something to crochet, um, a shawl, a pair of socks, and, um, and one other. So I've got four bags. I've got four fr project bags. And if I uh, if I keep the things in my project bag, hopefully I won't get too overwhelmed. I just want to keep casting things on. <laughs> it depends if there's a pattern that really pops out on me, really. So I've got the lace weight shawl ready um, for when I've finished the MCAL. Yeah. So the Skimming Stones Cal is by the Project. Uh, the crochet project which is Kat Golden and Joanna Scars. Um I'm really looking forward to that starting. Um, also in my crochet I started the wool jacket by Kat Golden last time. Um, I've got a little bit of pro uh, progress on that so it's still in my uh, little handmade project bag. Um, I popped a little teacup on there I thought that was really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Let's have a little look. Oh, look how bad my nails are. Oh. So I popped a little teacup on there. Oh, that was really cute. Um, anyway. So this is a, the amount of progress that I've made on, um, on, the, on the wolf jacket. So I've just finished the hood. So this is the, this is the hood. Let's have a little look if I can pull this out here. Oh, obviously not weaved any ends in. But um, yeah, so it's got this lovely little cable that runs all the way around each side and when it's finished it comes all the way down the front and down the front of the jacket and then the the jacket is just made in one big piece so i've made the hood and then it's i've just split for the shoulders and it comes down and it's all made um in one giant piece so no seaming no ends apart from beginning and end and obviously where i've changed the so it looks like chain mail at the minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> Silly. Edward is really excited that I've uh, that I've started making this again. He can see what it's becoming, because um, um, I've been making James little things while I've been sewing, and he's like, um, "I think I need something now." I'm like, "You have something." <laughs> I'm trying to make it um, a point of making James something, then Edward something, then James something, and then Edward. Um, just so I'm not leaving them out and not because, because it's so easy to make James little things because he's so little um, and babies look cute in everything. <laughs> so it's, it's really easy to make them for, for James. So I tend to do them more, um, whereas Edward's a bit like, uh, where's mine now? There it is. It's on its way. It's, it's getting there. Um, so that's, that's all my uh, knitting and crochet. I have also been doing lots of sewing. So I managed to finish the So Too Carrier. So here it is in all its glory. Um, oh, I've tightened that up a little bit. So again, I spoke about this before. Um, this is the So Too pattern, the little pick me up baby carrier. Um, and I've done lots of things wrong with it. <laughs> But I've, I've finally managed to finish it, so I've got all the hardware done in there, look. And this this is the only thing that I had left to do, really, was the buckle um, around the waist. But yeah, that goes around your waist, that round your shoulders. And James sits just in here, and the hood comes up here. Um, I've got to say, I don't like it. <laughs> he, I've worn it, I've worn James in it, um... I think about four times now. We've done a couple of sh shopping trips, so we've been and done the grocery shopping. Um, and James fits in it nice, but it, it pulls around the back of my arms. So when I was making it, again, I've it's only because I've made mistakes that I don't really like it. I need to make another one properly. <laughs> so I when you make the the shoulders you have lots of material um at the top here you have a big thing and i you need that 
and I, I sewed it in quite close. I was like, oh, we need the thing up closer. Changing it. I'm changing it and I don't even know what I'm doing. So now this buckle here is right in my armpit and it's really quite painful. So when it's on and this bit, so you buckle your arms round and the, the buckle together at the back. Like, let's have a little look. Like this. And this pulls like that and then that goes right in my armpit. So next time I need to make this longer so it actually comes around your arm like it's supposed to and like the pattern's written so it fits properly. But um, James has said that he's, he's not complained, he, he seems to like it, it's just painful for me. Um, he, he, James likes it. I forgot to put, uh, again, just <laughs> screwing up the pattern, um, down the sides where there's little legs coming, there's supposed to be a little foam. You're supposed to pack it, do a little seam and pack it full of um, squishy stuff so they don't uh, hurt the legs while it's, while it's on there, while they're sticking through. Um, again, I didn't do that and I really need to do that because, again, comfort for James. But it's not going to fit in it for very much longer. Um, it was designed up until six months. Um, I don't think I'll be wearing it much more. Um, I, re I just really want to make another one. I'm going to take all the buckles and things off of this one because now I know how to do it. I just have to um, reorder a little bit of webbing and use the buckles. Um, yeah, make the straps longer so it doesn't hurt my armpit um, around the back of my arms. But otherwise, it's an absolutely brilliant pattern. I'm really, really impressed that I've managed to make that. Um, <laughs> could be, uh, <laughs> I'm impressed at my own skills. But no, I am. It's, uh, yeah, little box stitches that I never knew before. I've never sewn with the hardware. I had to change all my needle up on the, um, on the sewing machine. Again, learning how to use a sewing machine. I've d I never did that before either. Sewing through foam, that was, um, yeah, that was an experience. Definitely, uh, you definitely had to have the right needles to do that. So through foam, through webbing, uh, was really quite difficult. I think if I were to do it again, I don't think you need, it's a one inch foam, and it's quite a dense foam, and I don't think you need that much uh, density. So I'm gonna try it and go for a softer one. Um, Again, am I changing patterns that, that are there for a reason? We'll have to see. I don't think you need it as much on the waistband, um, probably on the armpits. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I finished it. I was really impressed. Um, I will make another one. Um, I'm, I'll go pick some nice material. Um, I've made a, a bit of a deal with myself though that I will, I've got so much material now in, I've got two boxes and I'm not going to add to it until something comes out. So use the stash to make more stash, to make more room. <laughs> so I need to use things up so I can make room, so I can buy more things. Um, because I just, I, I don't want to get that hoarding mentality. <laughs> and Amber, the yarn hoarder. <laughs> can I just say though, watching the yarn hoarder, I, I'm so inspired by that woman. She must constantly knit and craft every day, all day, to get the amount of um, progress that she that she does. Um, I know that she she homeschools her children, um, and they're not really children anymore. Rather, they're quite grown. Oh, they're still they're still kids. They're still kids. Um, so she, yeah, but she's. Really inspirational. I've literally got um, a page in my little notebook that's inspiration from Amber because I want to um, do all the things that she's making. Um, and I started her podcast from the beginning. So I, I started at um, episode one and I think I'm on 19. <laughs> it was like 19 hours of this lady. Um, David's a little bit sick of her, but I, I'm not at all. I think she's absolutely brilliant um, and inspirational. So as well as the So Toot uh, little pick-me-up, I also made a little tiny baby romper for James. 
So you'll have to excuse this because it's worn it so and it needs ironing and it probably needs a wash as well. Um, but it's in the same, um, let's have a little look there, the same material um, as the little jumpers that I did. So it's Elephant's Parade and it was just in the local yarn, uh, my local fabric store, uh, B&M Fabrics and that's on the side of Kirgate Market in Leeds. Um, the pattern um, is by made, my, made By Me Patterns and I found that on Etsy. And it was really, really simple. I did mess up on this little cuff bit a little bit. No, is it that one? Is this one? Oh, God, I did there. Like caught it a little bit. It don't bother me. Not one bit. And I've made one of these before. Um, for, for James, I made the smaller size, and I found that when you put the little uh, things on. It can pull at the material so when you especially David because when he's changing bums he don't he, he don't pay attention to the fact that I've handmade that please be delicate while you're trying to pull the little stoppers off um yeah it nearly pulled through them last time so I just popped a little bit of interfacing on this time and it works perfect now yeah so if if anything about the pattern is just interface the shoulder seems a little bit for the poppers um but yeah, otherwise, I was really happy with those. A really, really quick little make. Um, if I thought about it a little bit more, I'm going to try a little hack to put the poppers in around um, around here to, for ease of nappy changing. Because um, although I don't... David really hates it um, and will never pop him in the things I've made because they're more difficult for him to get James dressed. Um, However, how often is it that David gets him dressed? I'll do it on a morning. Come here, beautiful. You can wear the beautiful things that Mummy's made you. Um, he looks so cute in him as well. Um, I have also been uh, sewing some gift, some gifts. Um, my friend Laura had a little baby, Nyla. She's um, two weeks old. I think today actually, two weeks today, and I'm going to see her on Wednesday. So, Wednesday, Thursday? Anyway, I'm going to see her this week. So I made some little birth cloths. So I'll show you these. Um, and I thought they were just adorable. So I've got two, two, two bits of material here. So I've got this little turquoisey uh, with a, I want to hide them, I thought they were fireworks, but they're not other than like little flowers, little dandelions. Um, and this little woodland one, the little deers on there and owls and foxes and robins and all sorts. Um, and I just followed uh, the tutorial on YouTube uh, by, I think it's Made Every Day. Yeah, Made Every Day on YouTube. Um, just followed hers and worked. I bought a towel, just a towel from, um, from Asta. Um, I think it was two pounds and I managed to get four out of the towel so I, I just cut it up. Working with towel, um, the towel in material, that's ridiculous isn't it? It got absolutely everywhere. As soon as I cut it my whole kitchen was covered in little white fluffy bits of cotton everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah they were really easy, really fun to make um, and really practical. I wish I'd made myself some. <laughs> um, I still might. Oh, I thought we had a James then. Not quite. He's still having a sleep. Yeah, so I managed to get four, four little burp cloths uh, for baby Nyla. Um, I hope she really likes them. I had fun making those. Um, really quick, really easy. Um, a little tutorial. I, uh, I made something else. What else did I make? Let's have a little look. Sorry. I keep looking down. It's because I've actually written notes. What? Um, oh my project bag. Okay, so the bag that I have got um, the what have I got in here? Oh, ho he look telly. Let's put it back. So catch me shawl. So I tried to make a little deal with myself that I would make um, a new project bag for every new project that I was making. <laughs> um, simply to use the stash um, so I could buy more things. Um, no. Um, I because I just don't have any bags and it would get to the point where there was just knitting all over the house I don't think David would appreciate it and uh, my new needles that are easily snappable snappable so the new needles that are easily snappable 
would also not appreciate it. So I made myself a little drawstring bag. Um, this is was leftover material from, I don't know, I mentioned I made a Megan dress by uh, Tilly and the Buttons for my friend as a gift. Um, and this is the material that um, I used that. So this was leftovers and the grey is uh, leftover from the little pick me up. Um, and just a drawstring. And again, I used um, a YouTube tutorial. Um, easy peasy, just cut some, tri just cut some uh, rectangles. I really wanted a sack, like quite a big sack. Um, now I interfaced this. Oh, sorry, I'll show you the lining. It's just a really, so it's lined in just a cheap cotton canvas. Um, I interfaced it all. However, I don't think I interfaced it. Um, it was a really light interface and it doesn't quite stand up how I want it to. It does. Well, actually, that's not that bad. Um, yeah, although I wish I'd have not made this part so high. So if I could have just had a, like an inch on the top, like taking a, an inch or two off, I'm sure I could go back into it and take it off, but I'm really, really, I'm not into unpicking. Um, and it's all done together. And yeah, I was quite impressed with that little make. And it's only for myself. I like it. It's fun. I managed to write it all down as well, so I'll be making another one of those. Um, I'd quite like to make another project bag um, for the MCAL. For the skimming stones cal that starts on wednesday so i've got a couple of days monday today uh, monday the 18th of june so it's monday the 18th of june today and the start the mcal starts on 20th um and i need another i need another bag so i really wanted to go buy some material to make a nice bag but use the stash <laughs> stop buying things um and that's all the sewing that I've um, that I've done this this for the past two weeks. Um, my mum would like me to make her a dress, um, so that is my plan for the next couple of weeks. Because I, um, because I've hurt my wrist, I think I'll probably be doing a little bit more sewing than I will be knitting over the next uh, couple of weeks. Hopefully, that doesn't um, affect affect her. Um, but this is the material that my mum bought, so it's a really pretty uh, blue chambray. Uh, there's two metres of it here to make um, the Megan dress. So she wants a little tunic dress and because I've got Love at the First Stitch by Tilly and the Buttons, um, I'm going to make the Megan dress for her. I've already made one before so hopefully it should be quite a, a quick sew up. Um, I'm going to try and pop an invisible zip in this time. I did do it on the original, um, when I originally went to the School of Saw to do the Lilu dress. She showed us how to do an invisible zip. Um, oh, I've got a crane, James. Are you ready? One minute. Oh. Come and say hello to everybody. Oh, big wake up. Big waking up. Oh, you all right? You okay? No, you're sad. Oh, it's okay. Come on, give mummy a big hug. Oh, no. Don't cry. We're all right. Come on. Come on, who is that? Oh, did you see yourself? Did you? Oh, who is that? Oh, did you just have burps? Did you wake up because you burpees? You're all right. Don't cry. We're talking about sewing for Nanny. Don't want to sew for Nanny. Well, we're gonna. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I was talking about sewing for Nanny, wasn't I? Sorry, sewing for my mum. <laughs> um. So yeah. So that's gonna be the plans for the week. Um. I'm gonna make a, a dress for my mum. I am also going to make myself something. Um, because I keep doing all these little sewing bits and I've not still not made anything for myself. So I'm going to do the Mimi blouse for me um, and maybe get the dungarees done for Heidi. So a few little bits of uh, plans to do. Um, so yeah, so how, what's that? Project bag, uh, a dress for my mum, something for me and the dungarees for Heidi. 
Well, we'll give it a go. That's the plan anyway. Are you okay? So James has um, just outgrown all his first size clothes. <laughs> so he's 14 weeks um, now. So, yep, past three months. Um, and I had to organise all his clothes this weekend because he's still is starting to outgrow some of them. Um, and I got all the clothes that I saved from Edward. So I didn't save everything, just my favourite little bits. Um, but I got them all out and give them all a good wash this weekend. But now I've got to put all the clothes away um, that James is not going to wear. And because I, that I'm done now. We've got Edward and we've got James and no more babies. So now I've got to organise the clothes and I can't just put them away in the loft because I can't justify just keeping all these baby clothes just because I can't possibly throw them out. Um, so I was thinking I might make something out of them. A lot of Edward's clothes I got made into a cot blanket um, but now I've started sewing I might make my own cot blanket. Um, so I think that's a good idea. Um, there's a few of the little tiny outfits that James has got um, that were Edward's as well. So the very first little outfit um, that he wore, oh, he's so sad. Stop growing, please. <laughs> We're enjoying our time though, aren't we? We're going to make a nice blanket. So we'll make it, hopefully, and I think I might have had a little look and I've seen little bears. Look at those little bubbles. I've seen little um, teddy bears um, that you can make. Out of um, out of little clothes and things, so I might have a little go at that as well. Um, but if you could just stop growing and just stay my little tiny baby forever, I'd appreciate that. Because otherwise, you turn into your big brother. Yeah. Edward has just got his first sports day this week, so in, on Wednesday morning he's got um, sports day. Um, He's so cute. He loves uh, a little bit of competition. <laughs> um, he's quite competitive when it comes to uh, doing things. He's not the best at doing them. He just he likes to play. He likes to uh, he likes to win. He's a five year old. <laughs> he doesn't always win, but he's quite a gracious loser, so that's okay. Um, Edward has also started um, trying to earn some money. He's now realised. Edward's birthday is in February, so he gets, uh, so we have Christmas and then his birthday, so he got quite spoiled both Christmas and birthday this year, um, and it's now come around to June, and he asked, um, I think it was about three weeks ago now, when can I have a toy? What for? So we've, uh, we've said that Edward can start earning his money by doing little chores if he wants to buy toys and he has to earn them himself so we've made up a list of chores um of things that he can do um just like the washing up and uh, what, what else did we do? i bought him a, wa a washing basket so oh, are you all right yeah so i bought edward a washing basket so he can collect all his own washing for the week and bring it down on a weekend and he can do his own washing um and that gets him 50p as well so every job is 50 pence and the thing he wants is 15 pounds so Edward's learning that you have to work for what you need um, he's also learning that doing the jobs is really boring <laughs> I, I asked him to do the gardening at the weekend um, well I didn't ask him to do it if he wanted to earn some money he could do some weeding in the garden um, and I gave him a little bucket and I said you have to fill the whole bucket for 50 pence. Um, you don't have to stop at one bucket, you can keep going and going. Um, our garden is, is full of weeds. It would not be hard to just fill the bucket. I could have done it in about five minutes. Edward half filled the bucket. He couldn't even be bothered to fill the whole thing. Um, and because I'm a bit mean, he didn't get his money for it because he didn't do the job. And <laughs> my mum said I am mean because he should have at least got half of the money. But no, do the job or don't get the money. Anyway, I think he's earned so far um, about £4.50. So he's done all right. Over, a, I think it's four weeks that he's been doing it. So he's been, he's been doing all right. He just, he wants to choose the easy jobs. And there's no easy jobs. 
If there were easy jobs, we wouldn't get paid for them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, James, are you okay? Do you want to chill out for a little bit? Mummy just wants to talk about her last little thing, which is spinning. Because Mummy has been learning how to spin her own wool on a drop spindle. So when I went to the, the wool festival in Leeds, um, two or three weeks ago, two weeks ago, wasn't it? Um, when I bought all the yarn. <laughs> When I bought all the yarn. I, I totally forgot about this because I, um, when I was talking to the ladies who were spinning, they sit, they sat with all the, their wheels, their spinning wheels. They were all, um, they were all spinning. Um, and I was talking to them. I really wanted to buy the drop spindle. However, um, I didn't take any cash. I only took my card, and the ladies didn't accept it. Um, but they meet every Wednesday. Um, where the festival was held at Armley Mills um, so they meet there every Wednesday and um, from 10 till 2 um, to spin so I said I'd really like to go along um, and they agreed to take a starter kit so they took the spindle um, and you got you got some uh, roving with it you got two different colours so I got navy and I got yellow um, and so the ladies agreed to take a kit to the meeting on a Wednesday um, and I could pay for it there and uh, so that's what we did. So for the past two Wednesdays I've been going to their little social. Look at him, he loves this. I can sit in front of James and do the spinning and while it's spinning in front of him he thinks it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we like this hobby, yeah we do. So yeah, so the ladies were, and they're just lovely. Do you know when you feel like you've found your people? <laughs> Is that a bit of a weird thing to say? I've only been to this, um, this like a social meetup now for, for two weeks. It's on a Wednesday, 10 till two, like I say. So James can come with me. Um, and the ladies love James, yeah they do. And for the past two weeks, he's actually been really good. He's had, to, he's had a drink and he's had a nap and let me, and he's slept through most of it. Um, so I've, I can learn how to do it. So I, I've already done a little yellow one. So look at look at this. So this is my first ever hand spun yarn on the drop spindle. Oh, it's, it's got horrible yellow ties in it as well. Oh, James, careful! Ah, ah, one minute. <laughs> Are you all right? Are we nearly done? We're so close to being done. Come on, let's just talk about this one for two minutes. So we've got our. Oh no, we're done. Okay, ladies and gents, <laughs> we're done for the day. We'll leave it there because James would like to have some milk and a bum change. Um, I don't think there was much more telly. I will talk all about my spinning next time. Um, thank you so much for joining me this week. It's a bit of a talky, rambly one. Always with the ramble. Um, give me a thumbs up, have a subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. I managed to finish the the carrier.